Finally got action. Ooh. Get. All right. What are we looking at here? Punches two. Hmm. Okay, so we've got the Gamel 5000 for machine artistry. And then we've got Anova. Hey guys, what's up everybody? Presents the Anova. Oh yeah, I've seen this guy before, haven't I? This is by Janet Stone. <laughs> Amy, I'm so glad. Again, this one here is by Janet Stone. This one here for contemporary That's artistry. This one is like Akiko Matsumura. Now we've got Handy Quilter presents the Handy Quilter Best of Show Award. It's called Monkeys in My Hair. And ooh, it's a portrait quilt. Let's see if I can get in front of it. Nope, I cannot. <laughs> uh, it looks like a mosaic style to some degree. And this was done by Deborah Hyde. Those are probably half inch squares. <laughs> Superior threads. Look at that ombre fabric. You know I love me some ombre, oh my gosh. I just leaned on it against a prop. <laughs> I do get very excited about quilts. <laughs> Good, I like it. I like it. Well, thank you so much for thank supporting this channel. Too. What's oh. the name of her YouTube channel? It's uh, mm -hmm. M.A. Couture Crafting. And so I bring people along with me. So right now we're live. Who can't be here? So the ones who want to see what's going on. And, I, and you never know where I'm going to pop up. And There's a hidden chameleon. Shopping. And a hidden praying mantis on that. Yeah, we see her on TV. Yeah. <laughs> she takes us fabric shopping. I do. I do take them fabric <laughs> shopping. I do. That's What's funny. Um, Candies Quilt Works. I'm in Los Angeles, and so yeah, I'm at I'm at Candies a lot. I'm at M&L a lot too. Nah, every quilt shop that has fabric, I guess all of them. <laughs> oh, so somewhere in here is a hidden chameleon and a hidden. Praying mantis. Yeah, I don't know that we're gonna find those things, but that's kind of cool. Let me see. All right, I can see alphabet in the background. Chameleon and praying mantis in this quote. <laughs> this is by. Okay, and this one here, Judy Potts, Want Janomies. Ooh, can I get? an M17 with this or <laughs> with my ribbon <laughs> if I went 
<laughs> oh, this one is amazing. This one's calling me. I'm looking straight through this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's almost like it's quilt lace. Did they just make a thing? This one, that's see-through. I want to make quilt lace. That's awesome. You can see right through it, guys. Through those orange, it's it's see-through. I don't know if I'm being clear about that. Stitched open work. Wow, that's just amazing. Yes, I'm feeling this one. No trip quilting and sewing. Hey, boy, that's amazing. I wish you could see that you can see through this. Oh my. I have no idea how we're going to work this show, guys. I'm just a walking with a gun for all the crazy quilters out there. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this is your quilt shop. Oh, hey, David. I know you. I know you. Look at all the people. Now, this show is huge, and I can only be with you all for two hours, and technology was weird, so we are going to just do a lot of catching vibes. today. Look at that. Ooh, look at the embellishment on this one. All the crystals. marks the spot oh you're welcome Donna all your classes from ooh quilt con so I've seen this quilt this is my favorite when it won quilt con ooh about two three years ago um, I got a chance to meet this woman and had no idea who I was talking to but this was an absolute favorite quilt of mine absolute favorite and she did this, uh, she saw somebody's art and she duplicated it in quilt and I just, <laughs> every time I see it, it's amazing. This is Terry Pert. Um, it's one of my absolute favorite quilt pieces of all time. I love that quilt. It's really nice to see it hanging here. I haven't seen it in a while. Again, guys, this is the first day that Houston is really open, so it's going to be a little busier than most of our shows. So we're just going to catch quilt vibes. Like I said, just bear with me. Whose fabric is this? Who has neon fabric like this? This Whose fabric is this? This fabric is amazing in person. It is truly neon. And it's neon without having specks in it. It's just neon fabric. You know, I've been seeing the neons lately that have like a texture to them and I don't want it. I just want neon fabric. That's a really nice dress and I love dresses and those appear to be with ties. Oops, sorry. Ooh, look at the colors on this. Aztec Garden by Michael Davidson.
Did I? What you say? What you say? Uh, this one over here? No. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Take me. Make sure that I don't miss anything because I can only do this for two hours today. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Somebody did Kobe like. Oh, they like really did Kobe. My goodness. My my my. It's really Kobe Bryant. Look at the detail on that. And it's big, guys. It's taller than me, and it's about three, maybe four of me wide. Oh, go ahead. Take your time. No, don't, no, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> wow. I love that they did this on a huge scale. Look at this. I love how people are. <laughs> you guys. I I'm, I love how people don't want us to miss out on anything good. You know, Catherine, I don't know. I need to buy the book. I definitely need to buy the book. My goodness, it's huge. You just get so much emotion from this. I love the quilt thing. It's just straight line, but it doesn't go through Kobe's body. Kobe's body is, um, looks like applique work, but they've left that unquilted. Wow, that's amazing. Ooh, this is... at this I gotta find out who did the Kobe quote of course I'm gonna tell you guys in just a moment I just wanted you guys to get this whole vibe here <laughs> quilting um yes absolutely whoa oh I'm broken in Tulsa oh really wings of the night Who did that? But one, two, one, two. I guess one, two. And then three. Three. Oh yeah, Mamba. Yeah, that's Kobe. Okay, so that was done by somebody, Nate Robbins, and the background was quilted by Nan Akins. Akins. Did you guys see that? All the ladies who can't be here. <laughs> that's lovely. <laughs> the ladies and gentlemen. I can't forget my David. <laughs> you guys, that's my quilt. You guys remember I saw this at Road and almost plots because I'm obsessed with deco uh, art kind of art deco right now. I don't know why. I don't know why. You guys, I just love quilt so much. Oh, are you guys insane for quilting like me? Like, do you guys kind of do a little dance? What would be more interesting is if I was, um, you know, rich and I could have somebody walk around and. The blue and white one on the opposite side of this. And if you have anything to this, this is the same as she's my best friend. You know, she won a prize. She won, she won too. I can't wait. That's because she's kind of my whole thing. Kind of love. So, like, two years. I will. I'm live now. I'm hanging out with people, but no, don't be. We'll talk. I'm, we will definitely talk. <laughs> she is kind of my whole thing. Um, This weekend has been amazing for me guys um where do you want me to stand because this is probably not it this is probably not where you want me to be i'm in all the pictures sorry that's okay thank you so this has been amazing where were we we were over here uh oh oh look at the ombre in this the ombre makes this everything i mean the exceptional quilting does too but whoa check out the ombre right here in the in the check out the ombre in these oh this is sick Ooh. Ooh, i'm so excited for this call it's called floral symphony number no. two and yes it is singing it is absolutely singing guys look at the quilting did i catch that look at this so we've got the blue uh, thread on this side and then we've got the gold on this side we've got look at the borders we've got a border right here a border right there they went off. Whoever did this went off. Look at you. <gasps> I feel like I started about seven different conversations, none of which I finished. So if you guys want me to talk about something. Hey, Debbie. I'm being Mac. <laughs> I am chatting. And I'm just a going. I'm sorry. I'm just a going. And I got very excited. Hey. My gnome got to in here. You hanging out with us? Okay. Ooh. This is really cool. 
Okay, I got very excited for a moment. Lost my, lost my crap. Okay, let's see. I think we're over here. We gotta go back over here. I know that I've started in a weird place and we will not see all the quilts, but we're gonna see a lot of quilts because we're doing two hours. Ooh, there's a Baltimore over there. You guys know how I feel about a Baltimore. All right, so let's just. Ooh, look at that. We are just catching vibes. Catching vibes. Again, guys, I'm sorry. It's really crowded. I'm not sorry that it's crowded. I'm happy that it's crowded. But we're not going to be able to get up on everything the way that I usually do. Oh, I like this. I like this one. We are just going to catch quilty vibes. Ooh. I like. I like. This one here is by Nancy Lambert. I feel like I've, I feel like we've run into Nancy Lambert's work before. What do you guys think? Are we familiar with Nancy Lambert? Is she a quiltress and I just don't know? Because you know I'm good for that. Barbara Strick did this one. I like it. I think I like improv when they're big pieces, maybe. Because I'm going to try improv again, although I really did enjoy it. And I realize that I don't have to love all the things and doing all the things. But So we have seen Nancy. Okay. Okay. I feel like I've said her name. This is a really cool... So Catherine, what do you mean? I went, I walked by Cherrywood. I didn't video Cherrywood. Oh, there it is right there. Catherine, I literally turned my back shoulder. Look, back shoulder. And there's all of the Cherrywood right over there. I'll go over there. Anybody have anything in the Cherrywood challenge that I need to look for specifically? Because there's probably like a couple hundred over there. Big old quilt is that? Good. Kooka mooga. What is happening right there? Wait for it. You guys ready? Wait for it. That quilt is huge. Huge, huge. Like, oh, it's a whole scene. My goodness. My Australia. Well, yeah. Who did the whole thing of Australia? Oh, I missed some stuff over here, but that's because I walked in a really weird way. It's okay. Don't fault me. Catching vibes, no plan. We're just seeing what we see. Okay, guys, this quilt is huge. And it's done by Helen Godin. How did she make it a huge quilt? Oh, she talks about it. I think we missed it for today. Hand painted, free motion machine. Oh, okay. Okay, so it was hand painted. Hmm. <laughs> All right, we're gonna just walk it and be in everybody's way, and people are probably hating me right now, but <laughs> I swear I'm gonna just walk it, and then I'm gonna move on. Okay. Oh, look at this! This is a beautiful uh, installation because it's all monarch butterflies and with all the same color palette, and it's cherry wood, so. You know. Now, did anybody do one that I need to find? Tell me if anybody here did one because we will go and celebrate it. Hey, Terry G. What's up? You're here with me. You're here. We're here. If anybody has one that they did, please tell me. I will showcase it. Look at these. Good. Google movie. Oh, this one was woven. I love that. Yeah, nice. she's, and even smaller. Um, <laughs> yeah, she is fabulous. Like I said, on the cover of that book is that blue one. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. Just oh, good, it got something. It got a staff's choice. It would have been my choice. This gets an honorable mention. Um, that one gets an honorable mention from me because I think it's dope. What's this one? This one, third place. 
Oh, it's super dense. This is so much fun. I'm glad you told me to come over here. Yeah, it was You like the pyramid one. Where do you see a pyramid? This one? Oh, that's a dress. Oh, it's a dress. Oh, it feels very couture. We should make this into a thing. Oh, look at this. This is on an eye. I am so glad, Catherine. I am so glad you told me to come over here. I am tickled right now. Do you feel it? Do you feel the tickle? I got tickled. I love art. I love quilting. I know I say it so much. Can you tell? This is just OG pretty. Oh, no, no, no. You guys enjoy your show. Go wherever you need to go. You will do whatever you need to do. Ignore me. I don't even see you. Nope, I'm not. I'm not even here. Are you doing this for yourself? No, no, no. I have a super chair. And there are many people who can't come to the show. I, I want your nails. <laughs> Nancy, people always think, how do you do with those nails? I almost put you on camera without asking because I saw you in the wild and I got very excited. <laughs> you guys want to know who the owner of, of Cherrywood is? Have you guys ever seen the owner of Cherrywood? She's kind of awesome. And she's standing right here. She's the one who has created. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. She has created this challenge, which has blossomed into something amazing. And we're going over. I was going through, right? This would have been my staff pick, too. I, I walked straight to it and I was like, this is my place. And your YouTube channel is? Yes. M.A. Couture Crafting. M.A. Couture If you ever want to see a show and you can't get there, see if I'm there, because it's very possible. I run into you a lot. Yeah, I see you everywhere. <laughs> I just pop up places. <laughs> All right. Yes, this is kind of a thing. This is kind of amazing. This has blossomed into something insane, guys. One of these days, I'm going to jump in the challenge. Um, Carla, what's this year? Carla. Let me see what this year's challenge is. Maybe I'll jump in it. I should have done the graffiti. And it's poppies. You're right. It's poppies this year, guys. Oh, you know what? Something other than a person. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Can I keep you with me all the time? No, he's yours. I get it. You got a good one. All right. Look at this. Poppy. Yeah, I might need to look into poppy. Although I don't have a... I have nothing jumping out at him. How would I express poppy? Nothing's jumping out. I had a very outdoor voice for a moment, and now we need to speak in hushed tones. Oh, look at this one. This one is so textured, so super cute. Oh, I love that. It's nice straight line quilting. You guys know that's my jam. And then this one here got an honorable mention. Hey, Kathy. Are you guys enjoying yourselves? If you are, please pay your taxes at the door and give me those thumbs up. I need them. We need to push this channel out into the world so people know how dope quilting is and how crazy I am about quilting and how crazy quilting can be in a great, great way. Oh my goodness, there are 30. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry. There are 30 of y'all in here. I need 30 thumbs up. Ooh. You see this right here? I really enjoy doing that block. I think I've done it on the channel. It's like a pot holder. But they've done it and added some texture. Just something different. Just something really different. Let's do... I'm gonna do this. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Oh, she's hiding down here, but she's so beautiful. Boy, Cherry Witch just sings. It looks like suede in person, guys. Okay, all right, I'm glad we did that. Now where are we going? Oh, it's Nipsey Hussle. Hmm. It's one of the places I never thought I'd see him. <laughs> We're gonna go see Nipsey Hussle in just a moment. It's a rapper and he is a deceased rapper, which is unfortunate. However, there is a beautiful, beautiful quilt of his, of him over there. You want it for your wardrobe? Absolutely. This is cool. I think this is by Jung Sung Lee. Are you laughing because Nipsey Hussle's over here and again? Not a place I thought I'd run into Nipsey Hussle. <laughs> Ooh, is he next to Carol Breyer Fowler? Now these are two people that I never thought I would see next to one another. What category is this? All hands all around? What does that mean? Oh, this is by Nate. Nate also did. You know what? Where is Nate? Because Nate did Kobe, and this feels right. Feels on trend for Nate. I'm here for it. 
it's exceptional. It's absolutely exceptional. That was really what Nipsey looks like. Nipsey looks just like that. When he was alive, he looked, that's him. Um, okay, let's see what else we got here. Where are we going? I don't know. Because I am not doing this with any kind of order. I'm just letting go and being led. Oh, we've seen that quote before. Okay. Hands all around. Artists from all around the world incorporate influences from their own cultures. Oh, this would be a great place for my Disney series to hang. You just submit photographs, and then if they like it, then... Oh, I see watermelons. Let's go see watermelons. And then we'll work our way around that area. Do you all see the watermelon? This is gorgeous, too. The use of this border is exceptional in this quilt. Yeah. This is by Jackie Hillman. It's called Fall Migration. It does feel fall. It feels like this needs to be on her bed right now. It's and this one is by Jackie Hillman. And it's a Bargello style watermelon. I like this. I want to turn this into a coat like um, oh, Rachel Clark did. Rachel Clark has a watermelon coat. This looks great. I love it. Okay. On point is your speciality now. Didn't I do something on point recently? I did. I did do something on point. Um, oh, I did that. <laughs> you guys. So you guys know I'm a, a micro influencer. So my channel doesn't do huge numbers all the time. Every now and then I get a little wood on the ball. But, ooh. Um, Sylvia Rochella. Apparently you guys are obsessed with her. That baby video I looked up and has a lot of views. And that was the one that I did on point. There's a rapper who has a bar. What is that say? What, what? A bar. Washington has. There's a rapper who has a bar in one of his songs saying he's going to buy his mother a gamble. Shut up. No way. Oh, I'm about to find it. Yeah. He's going to buy it. Yes. Yes. That's the kind of stuff you buy people when you get money. A gamble. Feel free to send me an Innova. <laughs> For the kids. I mean, I'm hoping you keep that gamble because right now, uh, Gamble is going through it. They are in the media. There is no reason for Gamble to be in the media. Well, there is, but well, we're just going to hope that everybody who has one is getting what they need and that that sucker is working and all things are cool. Okay. Let's see. Let's go on the, this not smart. Oh, look at that. He's doing a handstand on his, on his, on the people. Let's just walk through this section really quickly. I'm not going to do a lot of stopping unless something jumps out and says stop. Or unless you guys say stop. But I just think I'm a fan of Cirque du Soleil. I used to be a gymnast when I was an appropriate size. All the gymnast things. And so, hey, I like to see people do the acrobatic stuff. Boy, I love Baltimore. I'm looking dead ahead at a Baltimore and it is gorgeous love Baltimore. <laughs> Who is this? I am never as embarrassed as when I'm live and you guys can see my ADHD happening, which is not diagnosed. I really don't have it. It's just I think I get excited and I jump from one corner to the next. <laughs> when I see something I like, I just go to it, even though we might have had a different plan. I imagine that some of you guys think I have a problem. <laughs> That's by Tamar Ophir. Looks like Thoth inspired. This is gorgeous and clean. Look at that the quilting. Those lines are perfectly straight and horizontal. Am I still flexible? Only in the right way. Um, I am not. No. <laughs> I was a competitive cheerleader through college and I was more known for being extremely strong for a girl than I was super flexible or anything. But my right foot still goes for whatever reason. It's very strange. Everything else is gone. But I have been exercising and um, just getting back to being, trying to get healthy. And so my strength is coming back, which is nice because I need it since I've decided that I now carry around an HD9 for travel. 
Oh, we got a little baby. They're coaches in training too. <laughs> oh, her got a baby, baby. Okay, we've got a Baltimore. So today I wore my Quiltress and Training shirt and people love this shirt. Excuse me, ma'am. Look at this. This looks like this was a bit of painting and then thread painting on top of it. <laughs> you guys are my BFFs. Sunflowers. Am I missing stuff, guys? Hopefully I'm catching what you guys want me to catch. I'm kind of trying not to bump into people and be entertaining and then not be spastic every time I see a cool quilt all at the same time. And it's a lot. It's a lot. Boy, that's pretty. It's simple. It's a circle. It's some um, it's some drunkard's path blocks, right? But they're pretty. It's just a pretty quilt. I want it on a bed during springtime. It just is nice. It's called Inclusive Flower Garden. Oh, they are caves. This is cave bed that Yeah, I didn't even realize they were caves. It's kind of my thing. <laughs> Gorgeous, pretty. The shades where they put the colors. It's just nice. Just nice. It's really nice. One that we can do. Hi, how are you? Oh, we got America. Oh my, so much America. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's whip around. Oh, can you guys spot my favorite block? Oh, both of my favorite blocks are in here. Does anybody know my favorite blocks? They're in the same row. I say it all the time. Have you seen my logo? <laughs> oh, that's pretty. It's a sampler. And they got some good samples. Okay, let me hurry up and get around this corner so we can see some more goodness. Hmm, I like it's interesting. So here, award-winning Texas quilts. I don't know what this block is exactly, but I like it. Churned ash, churned ash, yep, but what's the other one? What's the other one? I always say two, churned ash is my favorite traditional. Which one is my favorite modern? Come on, guys, you know this one. Y'all know. Ooh. I'm doing one of these. I have it on my list of things to do. It's one of those one block wonder quilts and they put it around there, a panel, and it's just, yeah, card trick, yes. Yes, guys, you guys are my people. That was fun. Boy, I love this. I am doing this. When I say I'm doing this, I am doing this. Oh, they got blue bonnets in it. Oh, Lord. Oh, good, it's hers. Because I was like, I captured somebody touching the quilt. <laughs> Let's learn. She says, don't use black thread on a black quilt. We're live. We're teaching the people. <laughs> Hanging out with all the people. And this is your quilt. It's gorgeous. Oh, Ricky Tim says, do not use black thread on black fabric. Instead, use dark gray. And that does what? It shows up. Oh, it shows up. Uh, she's got blue bonnets in there. Yeah, stack and white. I'm doing one. I've got the panels and everything, guys. It's coming. I love this. It's gorgeous. Tell me your name. Judy Besco. Judy Besco, you guys. Judy Besco. All right. Oh, so I was like, uh-oh. I have caught somebody touching a quilt on the camera. Okay, let's go this way. What are we? We're at 34 minutes. Battery's holding. We're okay. We're okay. Let's do this. <laughs> Look at this. This one right there. That's the one. We're going to get up on that. A whole lot of work went into that bad boy. And I'm sure these others too. This is beautiful. Beautiful stained glass quilt. I really enjoy this one too. This one is Daisy Dots. 
by Lynn Taylor. Look at that. I need a helmet cam and skateboard. <laughs> you know, I already draw a lot of attention to myself. Uh, that might be a little conspicuous. <laughs> Look at these little leaves that have all been quilted down in some kind of way. The details on this are amazing. Again, this is by, it's called Daisy Dots by Lynn Taylor. If you guys need to, do not forget if you're watching the replay, you can freeze this and find out who it is and then Google them or look them up on the Insta or I don't know, all the social media platforms and see more of their stuff if you need to. Yeah, I did. I got it. <laughs> I did. Feel it. I'm okay with that. Good for you. Good for you guys. <laughs> I did catch a yawn. I wasn't gonna say anything because there was nothing I could do. We were just oh no, this is a nice improv piece. The colors are striking. Not a lot of colors in there. We've got that bold blue, we've got a navy blue, a brown, an orange, and what looks like a pink, and then a lighter blue, and it's all coming together, kind of awesomeness. Hmm, I like this. I feel like we are in the modern section. As I turn around, I see Baltimore, so that would not be modern, but this, it's abstract, we're in the abstract section. This is the one that won Judge's Choice, huh? Oh, let me see. This is by... I, oh, Jean Wells, well, you know, that name I know, <laughs> that name I know, I know, I know, like a culture should, like a culture's in training should. This is called Rockets in Flight by Jolene Mershon, Mershon, and this is in the applique category. <clears throat> Ooh, look at this guy. This is beautiful. Let me show you guys these panels right here. I don't know if they're stitched down, but there's a lot of texture right there. Beautiful color combination. Love the composition of this. I love the symmetry. It's just nice. It's really nice. Yeah, that's super great work. Super duper great. This is nice. Pretty quilting. That's an interesting kind of a flange. It's got some loops to it. I don't know if you were able to catch that. It's a neat, um, neat border idea. And that is by Yuko Kawakami. This one's by Linda good John in the applique category this one won third place and it's a Baltimore you got your nails done I know it's been forever and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep them on that same finger is not wanting to play properly which is really annoying I love that somebody did this so this looks like a red work section and somebody did the abstract elephant over there oh good here's the applique winner I was wondering who won first in applique I am always interested in that Looks like first place is Lynn. I don't know how to say her last name, but let's look at this. Oh, this we've got some needle turn going on here. Needle turn. Hi. Do you have any questions? No, I'm just. Is this it's your? Mine. Oh, look yes. at her. We're hanging out with Lynn. <laughs> Okay, so this is needle turn applique, yes? Yes, it is. It's beautiful. How long did this take you to do? Uh, about a year. Oh, it's... not long. <laughs> no, well, it's, it's all um, needle turn in front of the television at night. Okay. I just quilt for a hobby. So oh, wow. The, the hand sewing is just done at night as a relaxation thing watching TV. And then you come and win, and I, huh? And oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. wow. It's what amazing. a beautiful palette. Whose fabrics are these? They're um, Japanese yarn dye mm. fabrics from Japan. Ah, very, so, very nice. Where is, are you from here? 
No, I'm from Sydney, Australia. Australia? Oh my goodness. Where the fabric costs like what, forty dollars a? That actually, that fabric costs forty-two dollars a meter. And my, they're selling my, it my. Out here in the quilt mart. I think. Twenty? Is it? It's about twelve dollars for a half meter. So I might buy you some guys, before I go please, home. Please, please do. Please buy some before so. you go home. Now, is this your first quilt that you've entered? It's the first quilt I've entered internationally. Okay. I only make quilts for my own pleasure and mm -hmm. I only enter in my own guild shows. Oh. So this one is actually one best of state in wow. Australia. Wow. Wow. And it's represented best of Australia as a finalist. But this is the first time I've ever put a quilt in an overseas show and it won. It so did win. Are. Like, yes, yes, please continue to so do there this. There you are. It was, a, <laughs> it was a lovely surprise. Okay, my last question. Tell me about the quilting. The quilting is my own design and it was designed to enhance the applique pattern. As it does. And it's all done on a sit down sweet 16. What? No stitch regulator and all. What? Hand guided for Oh, so this is just your gift. You're just really no, good. I, I love quilting. Quilting <laughs> is my passion and applique is my passion. So this combines both of them together. Oh my goodness. Far more interesting and rewarding than joining little triangles together on no <laughs> way i want to join the triangles <laughs> no. i want to join all the triangles this is what i love doing oh so. well it shows and this Thank is you. absolutely amazing and now guess what we have just shared your story with people on the internet <laughs> with, with all the okay. people on the internet <laughs> well well there you are well uh-huh you guys, look, I interviewed somebody. You guys know I only interview quilts. I never talk to people. It's not my thing. But that was kind of fun. <laughs> I like you. Enjoy your day. <laughs> she is talented. Oh, they're oh, they're all saying, yay, Lynn. Oh, yeah, everybody knows you. Is it just me? Oh, they're very excited about you. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, let's see. Look at the colors here. This is by Noriko Kido. Wow. And this one, second place. Thank you, David. You know I don't do people. I only talk to quilts. I'm a quilt talker. I talk to the quilts. <gasps> There's Jane Sassman. Oh, I saw when she did this. Oh, she just drives me insane, guys. She just drives me insane. Jane is my quiltress. I've said it. Although Kara Breyer does too. You guys know how I feel about this. Now, this is not Jane. This is Roberta Lago Marcini. I wonder if I said her name right. I wonder if she would be proud. Um, and then the one next to it is Jane Sassman and I want to get right in front of it and then I just want to stay there forever. Y'all know how I feel about Jane. Jane won third place in abstract. I'm coming for you, Jane, one day. One day I'm coming for you. <laughs> Look at this. She drives me insane with, and you guys, this took her like no time to do. I watched her do it like on Instagram. She was showing her um, her process, and um, this happened. This came together fast. Now I have a series that's inspired by Jane Sassman, but of course it has Disney undertones. And I have one that is almost completed, and then another one in the chamber. It's happening. I'm coming for Jane. I am with her own style. <laughs> I'm not coming for anybody. I just want to be hanging right next to her. I just want to hang next to you, Jane. Somebody send Jane this so that she could be tickled. Jane gets a kick out of me, I think. Okay, let's see here. What is this? What is this? We're in the abstract category. What won first place in abstract? Is it this? This is by Nancy Goodman. Um, this is called Graffiti Wall. <laughs> Um, this one here won Judge's Choice, and this is Irene Roderick. You know Irene Roderick's work. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright. Looks, it looks like something you would do. Okay. Okay, okay. We've seen that guy before. This is nice. I like this one. That is. What is this? This is called Butterfly by Nancy Lambert. Okay, maybe I just have a thing for Nancy Lambert.
Bob in France. This is Judge. Okay. Oh, excuse me. This is hand hand quilted handmade. Well, hand quilted handmade. Look to your left. What did I miss? Do I need to go back to something? What was to my left? I totally missed it. Terry, are you blessing the channel as usual? Thank you. I need it. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. Oh my goodness. Maya Angelo. Oh, y'all saw Maya Angelo? Where y'all see? Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting it together, guys. Right. I'm getting it together. <laughs> we saw this one at QuiltCon. Um, who made this one? I forget. This is amazing mosaic art. And through the camera, it comes up so much more clear. It's fine in person. I mean, you can totally see what it is. And the further away you stamp it in camera, you can get it. Like, you can totally see it. And this is by Davida Bushrod. Oh, look at that one. That's cute too. Look at the baby. <laughs> oh, into my Let's see here. I never realized people might think that I'm a little off because I'm just walking around talking. Oh, you guys. Look at that. Doesn't that look like something I would love? Yep, I do. This is your first time seeing it? Do, you, do I need to stand back? Did you get it? Did I stand there for uh, long enough for you to, to get it? But chickens. What do I always say whenever I see a chicken or a rooster? Uh, what, do, what do I always say when I when I see a rooster? I'm gonna make a rooster quill. I think it's gonna be the fox in the hen house pattern. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. You guys know. Y'all know. It's the same old thing every single time. Every single time. Okay, here we go. That, that ombre with that one over there in the corner, you guys. That quilt might be my favorite quilt. I gotta, I might need to, we gotta figure out what our viewer's choice is gonna be. It might be that one. There's something special about that quilt. It's, it's all the things that make me happy. Okay, all right. Let's put that one on the list for our viewer's choice. You guys tell me which would win your viewer's choice. You guys remember the one I was just talking about? The one with the columns? And the ombre? I need to really what am I looking at here this is pretty so I don't know if you guys can see this in the camera but this has got thread that are different colors so that's pink this quilting is absolutely insane this is hand quilted handmade also we hand quilted all this Who, who's doing all this hand quilting then we've got like a green and a pink here Aw, something amazing is happening. Yes, this is a once a year event. Handmade, hand quilted, handmade, hand quilted. This one here. Who did that? That, uh, that was done by Jackie Perry. Yeah, check out this design right here. This is insane hand quilting, guys. <laughs> insane. Just amazing. I really think about that. She hand did all that. Okay, Jackie Perry. Get it, girl. Get it. Get it. Get it. And this one is beautiful, too. Just beautiful. <laughs> so this is hand done, too. And it looks good. Big old hand done. All right. <clears throat> this is gorgeous. The use of the color wheel here, green with these pinks on it. No, no classes for me. Um, no classes, no lectures. I was too busy 
just trying to meet and network. I'll tell you guys all about, you know, I'll do a video to just recap my um, crazy book. <coughs> Christmas so sweet. Um, I'll tell you guys kind of what I have going on. Um, and what happened and what I was busy doing. And if you guys haven't done so already, check out my video where I give you just the glimpse of the cool things that have happened at market. The cool things that you'll be able to purchase in the next couple of months. Why would I walk back this way? That's a waste of everybody's time. Hey, we've seen that quote before. You know what? A woman who, um, a friend of mine, she was like, you're going to see a lot of repeats. I was like, no, this is Houston. No, I am. These are on tour. So if they couldn't make it last year, they're here. Because this right here is what went viral on my TikTok. Um, yes, I have a TikTok that I ignored. Good, Google, Google, look at this. That lighter ruler. Okay, so you guys have seen the video. Well, good to know. Look at this. This one's second place. One, two, three. I think this is by Sashiko Chiba. I feel like we've seen that name before. No, no, this is, yeah, this is by Sashiko Chiba. That one, third place. The, the ornaments that are hanging down are super dimensional and super cute. Second place here. Let's get up on it. This is in the hand quilted, handmade category. And it's a stunner. But that's her name, Sashiko? Chiba? We, yeah, I know that I've seen that before, right? Right? Okay, and then I think we saw this. This win? Uh, Road to California? Maybe. I believe it did. This is amazing. My manager always says she likes when I come back from a convention because I have so many ideas and I'm probably at my most creative and I get it because right now my head is going. It is going right now. I hope your heads are going too. I hope that I'm capturing this for you guys in ways that make you guys inspired or inspire you all make you inspired but inspire you all because this is this is amazing stuff rock star it's <laughs> hmm. a big quilt quilted really interestingly like it's not a panto but it's quilted really cool <laughs> you need a three yard quilt video okay I got some coming for you no worries we're getting ready to jump onto our holiday stuff, three art quilts. So we've got some viewer choice and stuff, and uh, we've got some holiday pulls. And then we, you know, besties dropped while I was gone, so you guys will get a tulip pink. Oh, this just won first place here now, as it should. Arabesque by Yoki Yuki. Mm, no, I don't know if that's right. But yeah, you definitely have some three yard quilt stuff coming. If you guys have not seen this, which you probably haven't, because I did, I put it on my TikTok, not on my YouTube channel. Look through to the, the back of it. Like through the, not the back of it. How can I explain this? You see the, there is a box that is formed in the quilting. 
You guys see, it comes through here, it drops down here. And I wish that we had a white glove over here because to see the back is life. The back of this quilt is amazing. Mm-hmm. I think so. This is this here we go. This is who just did the one I just showed you was Patricia Helper. Yes, that feels like the name I know. All right. <laughs> Let's go. This quilt is huge, ginormous, and it's adorned. I like your shirt. Thank you. Thank you so much. I told you guys the shirt. You guys got to get you one. And I'm sure you're like, well, could you put it back on the website? And I am. When I get back, we are going to get it together. And then we can all have matching shirts at our things. Some people already have them. I'm sorry. All right. This one, first place in pictorial. And boy, is it gorgeous. Now, my question is, how was this done? Was it done with paint and then thread painted? Or was it thread painted? Which is a very different... So we talk about that all the time. Oh, look at the dog. He's coming at us. Dog. Let's go where the people are. Let's see what's going on over here. We got some ribbons and things. I've been riding with the practice with the bug out. I've had this horse bug for so long. I'm just riding with the yeah, yeah, I just, uh, it's a stable, and it's a nice stable because it's a variety of yeah. Yeah. Hey, Paula. Yeah, Debbie, of course it comes in plus sizes. I'm all the plus sizes. I got to be able to wear it. <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to be able to wear it, too. Thank you. All right. We are in pictorial, I think. Pictorial small. And there are lots of things. Ooh. It appears to be an ape of some sort over there. Look at the bunny. Cute bunny. It's a lot of shading on that nose to get that. All right, we've got 50 people hanging out. I need 50 thumbs up. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's push this video out. Is that Tula Pink's actual tumbling block quote? No, her quote was. <laughs> no, this is by Teresa Silva. This is in Celebration of Color. And I'll say she nailed the Celebration of Color. And this 
one. This one, first place. This one, first place. This is an art quilt. So this one, first place art quilt. This did first place color. Let's go this way and see what else we're doing with color. Let's see what people are doing. Oh, caving it. Hey, I'm doing this quilt. It's cute. I'm doing it. I don't know if it'll be next year I get to it. It's by Colorworks, that um, that pattern and whatnot. But of course, I'll be putting a little weird spin on it. <laughs> okay. What else we got with color? Ooh, I see one, guys. I see one that's rocking my world. I'll show you in a minute. This is a Prickly Warrior Princess. Celebration of color. The other one was I See Red. And this one, this one to the right is by... Okay, and here go some cool ones. Playing with color. This is a good one to enter in playing with color. I like this one. Yeah, that was cactus. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one right here that's hiding is the one that I'm like, whoa. Got a giant desk waiting for it. Okay, Linda Fleshner, you nailed it. It's called Murphy's Monster. I think it's because you can get so much depth if you know what to do with an ombre. And then she got it where, where it's shifting quickly. From here to here, I mean man you've got to get it where it shifts if i ever designed a fabric and i'm telling everybody eh, i just it would be in the ombre world i've got some ombre ideas i should have been talking to maywood i think i don't think i ran into maywood but i will next year i will joyous color explosion this is a joyous color explosion You about to get another HD9? Pulled out your old five. <laughs> Oops. Okay. This is by Mindy Brown. This one right here with the Art Deco Diner. What do we have back here? This feels like an exhibit of some sort. Who is this? This is Women's Encyclopedia. Gala Grotto designed the women's series cultural traditions throughout the world. Yeah. Amazing. Hi. Hello. No, 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 that's okay. <laughs> M17s, you can get them now for about 13,000 maybe, maybe 14, maybe 15, somewhere around in there. Not 23,000.
These are amazing. I love them. I think this is an amazing installation. It's a great artist to showcase. That was a great pick. A great pick. Oh, I think this is a kids section, middle school quilt artist. Yeah, the price has dropped considerably. Considerably. Okay, we are doing really good on time. I didn't do it, but... Sort of. <laughs> what time is it? It's 3.14, okay. Pictorial small. Let's go to see them. <laughs> Did I pass by a Tim Holtz pool? I didn't see it. This is cool. It's very modern. Oh, this is the Modern Quilt Guild. Oh, okay. I see you, Modern Quilts. It's really, it's really cool. Urban Development by Jira McKenzie. Very modern. Ooh, look at the giraffe. These are small pictorial quilts. A butterfly looks amazing. Oh, go ahead. No, no, you go. Over. <laughs> you said Krista Moser. What? Did you say about Krista Moser? Has been my quilter. Okay. Krista Moser has got some amazing designs. I like a lot of her stuff. It's amazing, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I am a fan. Yeah, for years we started Hey look, there's T from T Quilts being great. Over there being great. <laughs> T, how are you doing? How are you doing? You enjoying your Hi. look there goes T y'all. Look, T <laughs> right there. We all live. What's your channel? M.A. Couture Crafting. Okay. Did you see me bothering? I was bothering you the other day about. Did you? Yeah. I was on. I was on one of your lives cutting up about the block you were doing. I wanted that. If you're doing it with an acrylic quilt, but I want to know how to do it. I think I have to be in a group. Which, What's up, guys? The, not, not Winsley Dale. That's not acrylic. It was no. It was definitely an acrylic quilt, and it had it was chisel. It's got the half square triangle. Yeah. With the, you talk about a sharp. You had something <laughs> up on the wall. My goodness, I said I have to have that. <laughs> I have to do that. Well, What's nice up, everybody? It's uh, M.A. Couture Crafting. Come on over and hang out. If you like three-yard quilts, if you like Disney, if you like to be at shows, if you might, you might even see one of your quilts. I like to go around and just celebrate quilts. So come yes. on over. Come on over. Love it. Where are you from? Los Angeles, California. Oh, so you flew in too. I've got I two friends that came and met me today. Uh, I think I met week. them. It was Carla. two two guys. Well, Carla. Yeah, I saw Carla. Carla. Carla's our friend. Okay. She belongs. Good. She actually belongs to me. I let she you borrow. Her. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Carla, Carla's mine. Carla, you're gonna be fought Carla's over. Mine. And then I saw a gentleman. I uh, met two gentlemen. Uh, it was Eric Oda. He mm -hmm. also has a channel. Yep. Yep. And, and uh, uh, the other you talking about? It was two. The new me from yeah, California. Yeah, they, yeah. Well. Oh, that was uh, Jason. He's out of St. Louis. Oh. Okay. He, he doesn't have a channel. Uh huh. But, they were lovely. I had such I'll a good put time. With them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're recording. I'm live. I am live. It ain't no pause in here. I was here. live. Oh, okay. But uh, I was live, and it was. They said it was a little blurry. You were, so you were with. Uh, I'm, in, I'm in the booth. With you're in the booth. Easy. Yeah. Quilt easy. So yeah, I just trying to take a little break because oh, I'm like, you know, I gotta go out and record. Yeah, right? I know. I understand. <laughs> I've been here since last week. 
So I did market for the first time. Oh, that's awesome. It was fun. I started to do market, but I'm like, I ain't going to be buying much. But it'd be nice to see what's all new and stuff. Uh -huh. It's I nice for them to see you, too. It was like two weeks. I'm like, I don't know if I could do two weeks. And then I had Kevin like and Jason were riding with me, and they couldn't do two weeks. I understand. So. I understand. But that's good. You got to experience it. There's a, some kind of show like market but it's called something else in chicago like in neighborville i'm gonna go that. to that in next june i had signed up and then at the last minute didn't go because i had signed up to go by myself okay. but as a business i'm do you order through checkers at all mm -hmm. checkers does not think that i am a business because okay. But they will now. A lot of things are changing going forward this year. Okay. But they would not recognize me as a business, which totally sucks because I do a lot of business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but yeah, because they changing. they give you free tickets so you don't have to pay to enter if okay. you are a business. Okay. So you can all you can get like I will at, at least two tickets for free. Okay. So okay. That, so sign up when you're with Checkers. I automatically got that because I'm with Checkers. checkers. So okay. I didn't even have to go hunt it down. And then they just say we'll give you complimentary tickets. Perfect. I am. I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm gonna do that. And okay. then I'm gonna send you an email because there's another couple of things I wanted to know, but I'll send you an email. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You have fun. You too. All right, y'all. You guys know I'm good for doing that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You guys know T Quilts. You guys follow her. She's got a lovely. This says Wonka. And you know what? That's all you know. You already know. Wonka. It feels right. Wonka is by Stephanie no Nooner. Nooner. Oh, I'm just going to back around this. Oh, look at the jeans. That's very nice over there. Her channel is T Quilts. T E A Q U I L T S. If you guys aren't following her, y'all might be the only ones because she's kind of awesome. And every now and then I pop in when she's live and bother her about things. <laughs> she's got an amazing community. An amazing community. Uh, Tiffany's Quilting Life kind of started it with her. They're really good friends. And now Tiffany's channel is blowing up. We saw this one at, where do we see this quilt? I don't know, but isn't it a beautiful, it's amazing. It won first place, no, it won third place in machine quilting. I love when she's live too. She's a good time. She's sweet as pie and people love her retreats. We can't get in her retreats. Too. I'm, I'm gonna just take a moment and let everybody enjoy their show for a second and then I'm gonna step in so that you guys can see this because it's worth seeing she is so kind she's amazingly generous and I've seen her be great to folks and I love that okay check this out you guys see this quilting it's amazing and it's kind of like a tattooed quilt you know I like when people customize a quilt but it's not with traditional anything. This is this is many things, but traditional it ain't. So I'm really into that. As you guys know, if you've watched any of my videos this week, um, I'm getting a, a long arm, and I am gonna go long arm crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna go so. Oh, I like that quilt. Oh, I like it. Oh, it's modern. Look at this. What does it say? So this is, I was just talking about tattooing stuff. This is super graffiti style. Oh, it's, it says wash, wash your hands. <laughs> it's by Hope Wilmarth. Man, that's, that's, this is one song, three verses, sponsored by Aunties 2. What is that in the, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Oh yeah, Yasmin for sure. I will be long arming you guys. I will be long arming three yard quilts. I want you guys to send me all your three yard quilts so I can make them special. I'll be doing all kind of stuff. I will have next year. I'm gonna start kidding my um my three yard quilt thing. I got a lot of stuff coming, guys. But yes, I will definitely be offering long arm services probably by the middle of next year. I'm thinking. But I'm going to do some weird stuff with our quilts for sure because, you know, you've met me before. This is second place in machine quilting sponsored by Bernina. Um, you guys already know. 
I'm going to try to figure out some really interesting ways to quilt our stuff that's probably a little different than what people are offering now. I've got some ideas already. I don't have a piece of a long arm and I got the nerve to have some ideas. Look at this. Ooh, the texture for me. They trapunked the heck out of this. When I tell you they did dents when they did dents and they let it live, look at all this let live area. Oh, it's taking every bone in my body now to just touch it. Who is this? This is... Look at this scallop. This is such a deep, sharp scallop. It's... Ooh, ooh. It's, you know, mine that I did had those big gentle curves. This is not. This means that somebody was doing some serious stitching because the bigger the curve, the softer the curve, the easier it is to um, bind, right? This right here is some work and it's laying flat. What y'all know about that? What? What y'all know about it? Ooh, I love people who can quilt. She can quilt. This is Angela Miskell. Go, Angela. Go, Angela. What's your Tula border? What's your Tula border? Oh, these are Tula fabrics. You guys are literally dancing. This is why they're going to put me out. They're not going to let me in the quilting community. They're going to say, you know what? You don't know how to behave. Because I don't. I was literally just dancing about quilting. That happened. All right. Let's see. Okay, I need to hurry up because I'm supposed to be at Fabric Cafe's booth in 30 minutes. So we're in there, so we better catch some vibes and keep it pushing because we got to be at the Fabric Cafe booth at 4 o'clock. I don't know why, but we do one song, three verses. I really don't know what that's about exactly. Some elementary school stuff. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see where else we can go in 30 minutes. I'm not going to horse around. No more dance breaks. <laughs> totally took a dance break. <laughs> <laughs> it did look like Rick Rack, but it wasn't. It was just, it looked exactly like Rick Rack. Oh, these are the tiny ones. Honey, I shrunk the quilts. <laughs> it's funny. Let me show you guys. We've seen this one. I can stop saying that. You guys don't need to know that, huh? You would love a long arm well i'm gonna get one and then i'm gonna do deals so that you guys can send me your stuff and then i'm gonna try to be affordable so you guys can send me your stuff <laughs> and i'm gonna try to be good so i don't screw up your stuff <laughs> i'm a little nervous about that part but we'll get some some good insurance and whatnot so that we don't have to worry about those things these are beautiful they're so densely quilted. If you guys ever wanted to know the size that I prefer to quilt, this is it right here. <laughs> Terry, are you laughing at me? Am I saying something cray cray? That's on trend to say. Look at these pineapples. Who's doing all this tiny piecing? I have some friends who love this kind of stuff. This is not what I want to do. I mean, it, it, like I like this to quilt this size, but goodness gracious this is beautiful I've never seen micro stitching like this before are you guys seeing what that that micro stitching is I hope that I picked that up because I'm just gonna go around her and then I'm gonna get all up in this <laughs> It won't even focus. All that dark pink back there is, well, it's dark pink fabric actually, and it's got red stitching on it, but you guys, this is insanity. I wanna try one of these. <laughs> she laughed at me. No, I didn't mean, I, meant, I laughed because I had the same thought. Like, doesn't it like, sound like you're right, that right? Sound like I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try this. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I love quilters. We're crazy. We're cray cray. Okay, what is this? I need to hurry up. We only have kind of like one more aisle. I mean, I realize that I missed some stuff, but we saw some amazing quilts, right guys? Like some amazing quilts. If you haven't done so already, please give me a thumbs up so that we can push this video out. Mary Randall, Ellen Phillips, 
we've seen some amazing quilts. I feel really good. Oh, it's more amazing this over here, though. I feel really good about what we've accomplished in an hour and a half. Whoa. Oh, it got good over here. It got very, very good. We don't have time for all this extra goodness. I've still got to shop. Although, do I really have to shop? Like, I've got the cards, and I've got to fly. Which means... Do you guys see this right here? Do you guys see this? I'm going to do a wedding ring one day. I really want my wedding ring to have the scallop. But the way that this is done with this binding right here and this binding right here is like straight going off. <laughs> they, they went off when they did this. I'm here for it. Who did this? One, two, three, one. I think this is Lenny Van Yeet. Modern Marriage. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm here for this. The way that it's quilted is excellent. It's funky. Look at this. Oh, this quilt is so me. I need this. I thought I wanted to have the scalloped edge where you leave the, the side off. But low-key, when I'm looking at this right now, I really just want this one. And it's available for purchase. I wonder. My husband would. <laughs> I don't think he would understand. I don't think that he would understand me really purchasing a quilt. I'm sure he would say, make it, make it. Look at this. This is exceptionally beautiful. It's the quilting for me. It's the quilting and the color. Boy, it got good back here. Why don't you guys tell me to start over here? <laughs> okay, I'm not making this make sense, but it's more so because I try not to mess with people too much. I'm already the girl who's dressed a little on the loud side. <laughs> who's walking around talking to herself. This is very cool. Very cool colorway. This is very cool. What a cool corner. What corner is this? This is an American tradition. Oh, I like American quilting. That's why. I like it. She's close. She's enjoying her show. No worries. No, no. For what? <laughs> Enjoy your show. Oh, look at this. Look at this right here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yes, Mariner's Compass. What? With some fish? Can you get more American than fish? <laughs> it's this. This is, this is married to the sea. Oh my gosh. Wild and Goosey is one of your favorite parents. Did I just walk by a Wild and Goosey and didn't know it was a Wild and Goosey? Look at the baby on the back. I like that. Okay, what is this? This is in the American tradition, which is probably why I like it. Look at that. Oh, I like American style. The American tradition by all brands. How are we doing with battery life? Look at us still having battery. All right, battery. Uh, okay, so this is what we're working with here. There's a black one that I'm trying to get to. You know what? I'm going to have to actually watch this video back myself because I'm going to attempt at some point to do something to enter and I wonder what it's going to be. I've got some ideas actually for three yard quilts to enter to show people how to enter a three yard quilt to how to bump how to zhuzh it so that you are you know so that it feels like a, a quilt that you can enter which is probably what I should do since that's really what I'm known for. I'm noticing that, that most people know me for three yard quilts. When they stop me, they're like, oh, we saw what you did with the three yard quilt. We saw what you did with the three yard quilt. And I'm okay with that, because guess what? I, I do three yard quilts. <laughs> I like you. Thank you. She liked my shirt. <laughs> oh, it's it's because I coined it. I coined it. It's my, it's my word. <laughs> it's not really a thing. Now you just have to sell my shirts. You see, I did the, TV yeah, you know it, market. you know it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should do a shirt count. Ooh, we, look at this. Oh, this is doing something here. I guess that's a log cabin, huh? Okay, Mindy Brown. Ooh, it's the, it's the teal up against that red for me. It is slapping you in the face in the best way. What is this over here? What is this? Why didn't you guys let me wait till, oh, you guys, I should have been over here. Can we see the quilts behind you, Paula? Is this the quilts behind me? Is this what you're talking about? Talk sewing to me. 
Oh, no, I almost did. Don't let me do that, Heather. Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna show who these are. They are. They are gorgeous. Okay. We're going back this way. We're going back this way. <laughs> Good. That makes me happy. That's all right. Where would I? Do you know me from YouTube? YouTube. Oh, good. You and my mother are watching my channel. I'm one of your favorites. Oh, thank I was like, I don't know if I'm going to see her today. Hear me, Am. <laughs> Hear me, Am, walking all around, trying to capture it. I'm yeah. live now. You're not, you're not in it. Don't worry. You're not in it. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I don't think we're worried about that. You see anything amazing? I just started. Okay, yeah, I did. but you started on the good side. I hate that I started on that side. I should have started on this side and now I'm running through trying to uh, hurry up and catch everything. Oh good, we still have 30 minutes. We're fine. We're fine. No, 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 you don't. You have is you have hours. I have 30 minutes. Down here? My husband. Oh, he's waving. <laughs> hey, he's he not waving to me. Huh? I don't know yeah, what I'm waving. Yeah, he's waving at you because he knows who you are too because he has to. Oh, he has to suffer through me too. He probably does not want to hear my voice. No, he knows. He does not want to hear my voice. He's gonna say, "That's it's, that." It's mad. <laughs> oh, that's too sweet. I love that you guys, but he has to suffer through me. <laughs> oh my! Do you wake up? Does she watch me in the morning? <gasps> oh, watch out there now. Oh, that's that's very nice to meet you. I'm Mac. Oh, absolutely. Come on in. Come on in. Matter of fact, let me hug on YouTube. You guys, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate yeah, it. We so, do. I, I thank you. Thank can you. I yeah, you can take a picture with me. Absolutely. Yeah, well, if you know how to turn it on. Well, that's that's <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Let's go, camera. Got it. That's a good one. It's mine. Okay, do something crazy. Like what? Like what? Anything. I don't. Like that. I don't this is. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I got it already. So you see. Oh, no problem. Did you find me? I got look at you. look at us. Okay, see? yeah. Look, I do look like I'm doing something crazy. Yeah. See. <laughs> I know you said it. one, but I took, I, I took. you a take bunch as many as you want right. to. Okay, I'm gonna keep showing off these quilts. Thank you so much for stopping me. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Hey, I, I need thank you for all support, of you. supporting Southern California. Are you guys from Southern California? I'm from San Diego, but I've been in. I'm just, you see, I dropped down to San Diego yeah. and do yeah. the stores down there. That's how yeah. I found you, because I was homesick. Oh. So I moved to Texas about four years ago. Oh, okay. And I was homesick and I was like, I'm going to my store. <laughs> and that's uh -huh. what I saw you. Yep, I'm going to your store. <laughs> I will be probably back in San Diego very soon. So watch out. All right. oh, okay, bye bye. Uh, you guys always stop me. Stop me, stop me, stop me if you see me. You guys don't know, but some days it's very hard to want to do this. Not because it's hard to do this, because obviously I get very excited, but sometimes I feel like nobody's watching but Betsy and and daddy Betsy's mom um so thank you guys when you guys do this it really does warm my heart and give me more energy to keep it going because this is a labor of love although I think it'll be a little more profitable next year your girl's gonna do some things you guys will be really excited for because you guys have been with me on this journey look at these quilts wow <clears throat> so just yes stop me pet me give me hugs I need it I need it, I need it. You know, and it's hard to sometimes just pay attention to what I have going on and not pay attention to others and be all jealous and whatnot. I'm a human like everybody else. And I have human moments. And so when you guys stop me and say, hey, you know, I watch you or you made me feel this way, I need that. Don't keep it to yourself and stop me anytime. I will always stop and spend some moments with you. I don't care if I'm alive or what i don't care what i'm doing this is cool what are these t-shirts what is this i need to read this uh because i gotta know kathy technique traditional star flower dahlia but this polyester quilt was with uh was a quilt top and was recently quilted to hang it's vibrant what 1931 no these couldn't be 19 am i reading the right quilt it's an unknown maker this is so cool look at that these prints don't look like they're 1930, although what would I know about the 30s? Maybe they are 1930 prints. It's really a neat quilt. Probably one of the most unique quilts here. I want to make that flower. I've got a 
I gotta come back and shoot some stuff. Alright. Okay, okay. We're at the end. I have seen the most cool looking people around here. Um, they look different. They look, it's a very diverse group of people here. <clears throat> and that makes me very happy. I'm seeing a little bit of everybody. A lot of men, guys. Like, a lot of men. Hey, you guys, that's going to be my new boss right here. <laughs> Let's go bother my new boss. You guys, this is going to be my new boss. <laughs> I say it all the time. I just have to put it out there in the atmosphere. It's the handy quilter guy. <laughs> it's the guy. The guy, guys. <laughs> all right. I bothered him constantly. I bothered him for years about being with Handy Quilter in some kind of way. And I think you guys will be very pleased to know that some things should be happening next year. Sometimes you just got to put the stuff out there, right? What is this? This is also huge. That's as tall as I am, and this person is talking. Oh, this is the maker. Because you have to know where they're going to go to know how many Yeah. So, how many? 57 figures? 57 figures right now. This is Leah McCombs, who's talking. And that's uh, they're there. not photos, but I worked from photos, and they're raw edge applique. Oh, raw edge applique. So I've done bigger work like that, but they're all cut out pieces of fabric. Wow. And then they're stitched. I like that. So. <laughs> <laughs> No way. No way. We were just pointing at each other's glasses at the same time. We were like we mouthing. We were just mouthing. We looked at each other and then her glasses are really cool and my glasses were cool. And at the same time, we we're like, oh, I love your glasses. It was a thing. Um, no, she just has really cool. She's just cool. She has really cool glasses. Good. Yes, do. We're going to, ooh, look at this. What is this? This is awesome. You have found your people. It, so are we? Love guys. That's my new boss. I'm just going to keep saying it until it comes true. <laughs> the, the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment. Okay. So the Clinton Presidential Foundation put together a big history exhibit with all these artifacts on women's suffrage and the women's rights movement. And then they invited 18 fiber artists to make new original artwork Ooh. for the exhibit. I want to be one so of those So we don't have the artifacts, but these are the quilts oh. that were, or the, the fiber art that was made for the exhibit. And probably the last time they'll all be together. Ooh. So this was mine. And I couldn't pick up, I couldn't pick a person or an event. So I was inspired by Raphael's School of Athens, and I just decided to create a big building and put in as many um, figures as I could, as many people as I could. She's got 53 figures and 57. So in the first figures. year, there were only 32. But then it got delayed for the pandemic, so I added 18 more in the second year. And in the third year, I took it up to 57. And I wrote a book, which is, let me get it real quick. Are yes, you? Because Carol Brayer, right? I am. I am. And you are. My name is Matt, and I talk about your stuff. I learned all, all the time. I have a YouTube channel. I'm live now. Thank you. Is that why I am in love with what you do? Well, thank you. I have nothing if I'm not an ombre, and you understand ombres in a way that nobody else. Oh, I am obsessed with you and Jane Sasson, and you guys are my oh, quiltresses. Oh, oh, Jane and I are good friends. I know, she told me. I got a chance to take a class with her, now I have to take one with you. It's so lovely to meet you. Thank you. Oh, I just love what she do so much. I've seen your stuff. If you were doing an exhibit. I'm trying to keep it out there. Yeah, you do. A matter of fact, where was I? PIQF, huge yeah. your exhibit, you and then everywhere else. I see your stuff, every oh, I just love it. Congratulations on being awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, here we got this one here. You guys, that's Carol. It was <laughs> Oh, I'm just too tickled. <laughs> oh, that was Carol Breyer Fire 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 Art. You know the lady who does the ombres that I'm obsessed with.
Boy, it's nice to meet these people in person. Okay, guys, let me hurry up because I said we've got to get to Fabric Cafe in 20 minutes. They're not far, but you see that I stop a lot. So, so here are more of the quilts that she was talking about. They had the fiber artist come in because it was the hundredth of year of the amendment. Um, I'm sure I'm not explaining that properly, but I just met a quiltress, so, you know. <laughs> so, you know, I'm kind of off. She's so amazing. I wish I could. I probably could have, but it felt weird to gush all over her and have you guys right there waiting. This is kind of cool. It's not kind of cool. It really is cool. It's the absence of quilting in these blocks that really makes this super unique. Look at this. They have a lot of texture. They're puffy. And I like it. Matter of fact, this quilt is not quilted to death. It still has some breathable room and whatnot. Look at these big quilts. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is a triptych. I don't know why I decided to use that word because I'm not 100% sure what it means, but it's three pieces. It's three, it's three pieces. You'd be gushing? Well, thank you. Come on and gush all over me. I'll take it. I need the gushing. I, but I almost wet myself just a moment ago. You guys just don't know. Well, yes, you do. If you, if you followed my stuff, you do know. I, she's a huge inspiration. She uses ombres and her use of ombres and what she's done, how she's gotten the ombres that she's needed. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's a force. She and Jane are cut from the same, they're, they're like the same, um, like class of quilters that are coming out, that came out together. Now, y'all know that, um, I don't like to do the show floor because people don't like photography in their booths, but I sometimes just kind of creep through anyway. And so let's just run up and down. Now, the things that I think are super cool, um, I have put into a video, but not a lot of patterns and fabrics just because people don't appreciate that people don't like that um, because people steal stuff and whatnot but I have a relationship with some companies and they're and they um, ignore me and don't really care what I do and I don't see any close but we're just organic thread there the people who have those what is that ruler called with all the slits in it that everybody loves then um, I should totally, you know what, I need to film them because stripology, that's, I couldn't think, I couldn't call it, I couldn't call it, I couldn't call it, the stripology, I'm going to come back and then we'll, I will look at this again, I saw her do some demos at market and apparently there's some new stuff that's arrived and so we'll, we'll definitely look at stripology, ooh, they use Sarah Bond fabric, I haven't seen any Sarah Bond fabric until right this second, oh, I'm, I love, Swan Amity Studios, they make this box. And I don't know if I can show it to you, but Google it, Swan Amity Studios. They have the cutest patterns. This is Oliso booth. I didn't do an Oliso video and I need to. If you've never seen an Oliso iron, ready? You ready for it? Oh, it just went down. And it didn't, oh, it just went down. When you grab it, and now it's back up. Um, I'll never forget the first time I saw that. I almost, I didn't know what to do. I was like, what just happened? It was like magic. Fuse booth, she's doing a demo. That fuse powder, I have fuse powder. I'm gonna start using fuse powder, powder to uh, base my quilts. Um, brother is doing a demo right now. Um, brother is over there and I need to poke in. I got a lot of stuff I claim I'm going to do for somebody who's leaving tomorrow. <laughs> so steady. The so steady booth. Um, reliable irons. They're also very cool and gaining a lot of popularity. Somebody said Krista Moser does their stuff. She's on a video right there. Um, what else can I show you? That I know 
handy quilter could care less if I go in there, but I think I've done so much handy quilter lately. Handy quilter is going to be the machine that I grab. It's going to be the Amara. 24 inch. I know who won't care that you guys will love. Let's go down here. I can't believe how well this internet has held up for this. I was concerned. Fabrics, etc. Sue Hines. Ooh, templates galore over there for quilting. Purple Pineapple Studio. They did a lot of work with Kristen Icy Star. She had tons of their stuff for giveaways. We've got Elna, who is um, Janome. Their partners with Janome, same machines for the most part. Sarah Hearts. I'm not familiar with oh, labels, quilt labels. Susan Brown over there. She has the the binding ruler. I'm live. I'll be back. Susan Brown. Um, let's see. Tracy's table sewing furniture. I see Tim Holtz fabric over there, but they are they are running through those packs. And they, remember, guys, this is the first day. So, how much time do we have? We've got 10 minutes. Let's walk up this aisle. So exquisite. Um, Quilter Studio to my right. I'm not gonna stop. We're just gonna keep breezing through. Oh, look at all this yarn. Yarn to my left. Lakeside Scissors Sale. Quilts Illustrated. Oh, somebody's dressed as popcorn pieces. Something I didn't think I'd see today. Popcorn. With the shoes and everything. Look at the shoes. Yeah. Well, I don't do it. <laughs> Elkhorn Foot Company. Needlewear. My girlfriend's foot shop. Mm -hmm. Oh, so tight. Bernina, so tight has just come out with that ruler with the magnetic things that hold it to your to your ruler mat, which is really cool. We've got Bernina over there for all my Bernina people. Uh, let's go down here. Made by Kellogg, and I got it. They're the legit quick kilts, uh, legit kits people. And yes, that is the David. And yes, the ladies like to come and lift up the little, <laughs> the little, the little thing and get a little peek. It's a thing. If you guys aren't familiar with legit kits, you guys really should be. I think they make the best patterns for foundation paper pieces. I think they have the best looking patterns. Okay. Annie is actually in this booth, which causes it to be just crazy, but I actually got the patterns that we can make the things that I said we're going to make. And it's crazy in there. It's cray cray. But on the outside, they've got their new patterns. And so there is that bag that I am dying to do. I was very curious to know how that stopped. How that zipper stopped, but now I can see it. It just goes in and curves so that you can't. It doesn't come off. I do not play pickleball or tennis or anything, but I, we're doing this. We're doing that one too. And we're going to do the clam up. Oh, I need zippers. Oh, I need zippers. I keep going through all my zipper pulls. I kind of need the solid colors though. I need white. Um, daylight. If you guys don't know about daylight, your places probably are not as well lit as they need to be. Excuse me. Daylight lamps will, are a game changer. Are an absolute game changer. This is the Fabric Cafe booth. I know that they don't care what I do. <laughs> and they have their kits out for everybody. So if you get a chance, please stop by. 
and tell them that you love them and that you uh, know me. <laughs> Just tell them. It's not going to do anything for you. Nothing's going to happen. But it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I'm obsessed with this kit. Obsessed with this one. I'm also obsessed with this one. And this one's almost all gone. Ooh, wait. You guys, how is this still here? Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. It's just gorgeous. How is that still here? What else do they have? Then they have the single patterns for sale. Do you guys have favorite patterns? This one right here, this one is called Miriam Bright, but it's the Churn Dash one. Um, no, the Churn Dash is the other one, but that's the one that looks like it. It's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, what else do I am I obsessed with? Mm, the books. Well, that's one I've never seen before. Oh no, it's the. Yes, I have. Wait, I don't think I've ever seen this pattern before. Have I? I don't think I've seen this one either. What's happening? What is happening right now? Hmm. I've done this one. I've done this one. I've done this one. This is one that you guys talk about. Can you guys hear their voices? Can you, can you guys hear their voices? <laughs> That's them back there. You've done over 20. Okay. Do you have a favorite? I've done that one. You guys, you must check out my channel. I have a series called How to Zhuzh Up a Three Yard Quilt. So some of the quilts I just do, I heard it. I heard it too. I can hear it all the way over here. So I have the, the channel and I do the how to zhuzh them up, which gives them a little something. I show you how to do some funky things with them and use some funky fabrics. And then I have, um, then some of them I just do regularly. I just make them because they're fun to do. If you're not familiar with what to do, one kit will make you kind of a lap, uh, kind of a lap size. The two kits will do a twin, three will do a king. And it's really an awesome concept. Three yards of fabric one two three yards will get you a quilt you can you can make a quilt like with this right here they're super beginner friendly they're also fast if you need to give some gifts they're just an amazing product and i kind of spend a lot of my time making these quilts a lot of time drooling over the patterns that are coming out and then on top of that the the family is just really really nice and good. what is that Where'd you get that one? I that one. She says I can't have it. Can I show it? Can I at least show yes. it? You guys. Can you tell me where you got look it? at this. <laughs> look, you have cute glasses too. You guys check this out. Are those a pair? Are yours a pair? Yes, oh, yes, yes. I've got to get in. Yes, I've got to get into the pair game. You guys check out this kit. See if they have it online. I don't know what it's called, but it's kind of awesome. I promise you, it'll make any of these things. Thank you. No. Oh, it's this one right here. This is the synergy. It's the synergy one. That synergy pattern. We haven't done that one yet, but we will. We'll be doing that one soon. Um, what else do you guys want to see while I'm in here? You just finished a three-yard quilt. Which three-yard kit did you just finish? Let me see. What else? Let me get out of the booth. Because I'm in it. In it. Ooh. We haven't done this one either. Let's see if I can get through there. It feels like I can't. You guys see that the space is not big enough for me to move through it. Yes, it is. Bam. I'm through it. I wanted to look at this one right here. It's pretty, right? That's half rectangle um, triangles, and that looks really good. Then we've got the new house that they just debuted in the stash busting. Yes, the book is waiting for me at home, and we will absolutely be knocking it out. Valor? Okay, I see you, Valor. Look at you going all rogue. I haven't done Valor yet. And then here's Fran's fabric. Some of you guys are going to be winning some because she was gracious enough to give me some and I can't use it all in a lifetime. And so I just hit 15,000 um, subscribers and so I'll be doing a 15,000 subscriber giveaway. Although honestly, I just hit 16 the other day. So, <laughs> so I can't keep up. This is a dope kit too. Okay. I would totally make something with this. This is a good one. <laughs> he said 16,000. Yeah, I know. I didn't jump on it fast enough, and I'm not complaining. I'm just not keeping up, but I promise you guys, you know what? We're going to do it before the holidays. We're going to do a big holiday giveaway on my channel, and when I say big, I mean big. <laughs> I mean big. I am one of those people who um, shows my love. My love language is uh, the way that I show it 
Because I like to give people stuff. Oh, here's this kit right here. You guys must get this kit. Have to. Have to, have to, have to. This is a good one. Um, what else do I see here? And then look at all the books. This is the newest book right here, Stash Busting. And it lets you use some of your, um, your pre-cuts, which is super cool. Oh, what else? All right, well, it's just about four o'clock. We've been hanging out for just about two hours. These are the best two hours I've had. And I've had some really good hours here, guys. Really, really good hours. So I'm gonna call it. Please check out the replay. If you have made it this far, mm, what am I gonna have you put in the, in the chat? Um, type the word, what's a good word? Type the word something random <laughs> type the word ostrich <laughs> if you've made it all the way through this video let me know you guys watched it in full let me know that you guys have supported the channel ostrich 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 i don't even know how to spell ostrich <laughs> so don't worry if you can't spell it either just you know sound it out i'll know what's happening and thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and um, i'm your quilty bff and we will be hanging out soon again my next big show will be quilt con which comes in what february and then after that oh don't worry you enjoy yourself um <laughs> the next big show will be in february quilt con and many more we were doing our schedule when i get back so if there's some place that you guys want to see me if there's some show that you really think i need to be at please let me know send me an email and um, thanks so much for hanging out with me and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up push it out let's uh, bring everybody to quilting all right bye-bye